Hi everyone, this is Cindy. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can update your forethought schedule in the forethought planner. This is most beneficial for teachers that have changed their teaching assignment or a grade level change or something like this. So I'm in as a teacher who has a planner set. You can see that she was an AP economics teacher before, but she's now going to teach, I don't know, let's say biology. Surprise! <laughs> but she needs to change this schedule. So to do that, you're going to click Change My Settings in the lower left-hand corner and then select My Schedules. You'll see that she has one schedule. You could add another schedule, but we recommend only keeping one. If you have more than one schedule, then every single day you have to choose which schedule to use. So that would become a little bit irritating. When you selected the schedule, what you're going to do is click Edit Schedule. I can change the name if I would like to, but at this point I'm going to leave that and click Next in the lower right hand corner. So right now her schedule only has one entry in it and that's AP Economics. But since she's not going to teach that this year, we're going to highlight it and remove that entry. You should know that this will not go back and remove anything from previous days. So if you ever did want to get rid of something from the, you know, a year before, that is done one entry at a time. So it's done on purpose so that you don't accidentally remove a year's worth of plans. But now I need to add the new course. So I'm going to select Add an Entry. I want to stick with a course with learning standards and I click Next in the lower right hand corner. I want to find the science class that she's going to teach. There it is. And I'm going to click Next in the lower right hand corner. And then I get these options. This is based on her schedule. And let's just say she's going to teach biology during these. So this is not a very good example, but it, I think it gets my point across. I'll go ahead and click Next. Now if I needed to add another one, let's say she was going to do AP Biology, we'll go ahead and go through the same process um, and we'll select that one. So this shows you how she can have more than one subject. So we've got her schedule right. Now what we need to do from here is finish out this wizard that's walking us through the planner setup. We click Next in the lower right hand corner. We still click Next again and then it's not going to be set until you click the button that says Begin Using Forethought. So as soon as you do that, it takes me to the day. What you're going to notice though right away is that hmm, it didn't change anything. This still says AP Economics. I thought we just went through that process to change it. We did, but I want you to pay special attention to the bold dates on the calendar. Anything that is bold like that means that a schedule has already been applied. And in this case, it was last year's schedule that had already been applied to these three dates before I created the new schedule. So to update it, there's no content here. I'm going to come to this first button and choose Delete Today's Plans. Just know that if you did have lesson plans, this tells you what it's going to do. It's going to delete today's plans, it gives you a little warning, and it actually deletes it with the new schedule. So you see this is how it updated. I would need to do that on any day that was bold that had an existing schedule. So I'm click that button, delete today's plans, and it replaces it. And then this is the last one that already had the old schedule stamped to it. So that's how you edit a schedule. If you are an elementary teacher and have multiple entries, so you might have as many as 12 entries on your schedule in one day, we find it easier just simply to go into Change My Settings, My Schedules, highlight the schedule, actually remove the schedule altogether and create a new one. If you're a secondary teacher that only has one or two entries, sometimes it's just easier to edit. So let us know if you have any questions. 